the purpose of this video is to provide pervasive data integrator developers with a better understanding of how to use macro definition variables. What is a macro definition variable? A macro definition variable is a configurable string object used by data integrator developers to store text values for usage throughout their pervasive processes. These configurable strings are defined and accessed using a meaningful name. As these values are defined, they are stored in a file called the macro.xml file, which resides in the active pervasive workspace directory. Macro definition variables are often referred to as macros or macrodefs by data integrator developers. Who should use macro definition variables? First and foremost, macro definition variables should be utilized by developers in their data integrator processes. They should use the macro def variables to allow for dynamic and configurable coding. This also puts some power back in the hands of the end user to determine which values should be used for given macro defs at specific insertion points throughout the pervasive process. An end user will be responsible for configuring and maintaining the initial values of macro definition variables for a given process. This provides the end user with the ability to update configurable variables instead of reaching out to development for changes to code prior to the execution of a given process. When a process is executed by the data integration engine, a macrodef file can be specified for the run. The engine will use the values from the macrodef file for the execution of the process. Why should we use macro definition variables inside of our processes? First of all, we can eliminate hard coding. The use of macro defs allow for a developer's code to be dynamic by eliminating hard coded values from within the code. This provides the end user with the ability to specify values for macro defs at runtime versus the need for code changes at certain points in the process. For example, the file name of an input file may change. Instead of having to change the code or rename the source file for the process to execute, we can simply update the macro def value prior to processing. We should also use macro defs to empower end users. Using macro defs to make decisions on how code should be executed provides for dynamic decision making within processes. For example, if a macro def called run daily report has a value set to true, our code can generate the daily report. On the other hand, if the value of that macro def is set to false, our code can bypass the code for generating that report. Lastly, we should use macro defs for ease of deployment. In many cases, multiple environments exist for data integrator projects. Each environment may have different connection information or global values that need to exist for processes as they move from environment to environment. For example, a database in a development environment may have a different name in a production environment. Instead of having to change the code at the time of deployment, let's keep the code static and simply update the macro def value prior to deployment into the new environment. Macro def variables should be used when defining connectors. When we define source and target connectors, we should use macro defs as this allows for connector information to change without having to change the underlying code. We should also use macro defs when we need to make decisions in our code. Scenarios may arise when end user input or business rules should dictate whether or not specific logic should be executed. By inserting macro defs, dynamic decision making is possible, and this makes for powerful, complete processes. Thirdly, we should use macro defs when accessing environment values. In many cases, different environments may contain different values that are specific to the environment. A root directory or a database name are both examples of environment level of variables that may be used within a process but will differ from environment to environment. Lastly, where should we use macro definition variables in our processes? We should use macro def variables in source and target connector information. These variables can also be used in rifle scripts and code modules, schema connection information, DJ import and export objects, query statements, the source view des designer, and calls out to the pervasive data integration engine. It should be noted that we should not use macro defs in air logs, for multi-mode connectors, or structured schema and code module location information. 
In our next video, we will walk through how to use MacroDef variables through the pervasive design seat. This will show us how to create, edit, and maintain our MacroDef variables. Additionally, we will walk